Here we find ourselves looking at amplitude practice problem 3 solution. This problem is quite straightforward. One notable part of this problem is that your longitude is quite large and when you divide it by 15 to get your local time, it's 11 hours different than your chronometer time. So that's an interesting part of this problem and besides that everything else is quite straightforward. So take your time here and enjoy the process. Calculate compass deviation by amplitude of the sun. Problem three. Let's get this one going. Problem three. And we're going to get all the information given in the problem. Let's get all that right now so we can refer to it later. And the first thing given is the date. It's May 11th. May 11th, 1981. And it gives us our DR position. The DR position is equal to latitude 28, 13.7. Latitude 28 degrees, 13.7 minutes. And the longitude is 168, 36.3. 168.36.3 degrees minutes east. Oh, our latitude was north. <clears throat> north. And you observe an amplitude of the sun. The sun centers on the celestial horizon and bears 283. So the sun bearing is equal to 283. 283 degrees PSC. The chronometer reads 71319. The chron time is equal to 7 hours, 13 minutes, 19 seconds. And then we're given the chron error, which is equal to 2 minutes 56 slow. So, 2 minutes, 56 seconds, slow, which means we add it to catch back up. And the variation's 13 east. Variation is equal to 13 degrees east. And what's the deviation? So, deviation is what we're looking for. Deviation equals something. First thing we do is get the GMT. That'll allow us to find our declination. So GMT is equal to the cron time, which is 7, 13, 19. So we have 7 hours, 13 minutes, 19 seconds. And we apply the error. So we add 2 minutes, 56 seconds. So we're going to be adding 2 minutes and 56 seconds to this. 19, 9 and 6 is, I'm going to put it, I'm going to space it, 1, 5, 1, 5, 6, 75 seconds. That is 15 minutes and 7 hours. This 75 would take 60 out of here and turn it to a minute. So what we end up with is... 7 hours, 16 minutes, and 15 seconds. So this is <clears throat> our corrected cron time. And now there's ambiguity in the chronometer. There's only 12 hours in the chronometer, so it goes around twice in a day. It's essentially a.m. and p.m. So if we add 12 hours to this, plus 12 hours, we get the other side of this thing. So 7 Plus 12 is 19. So the other side's at 19 hours, 16 minutes, 15 seconds. And we have to figure out which one of these to use. And to do that, we need to figure out our local mean time. And to, so we apply a zone time, like our, our zone correction. And the way we get how many hours different, we take our longitude, 168, 
So our longitude, which is equal to 168 degrees east, divided by 15, because there's 15 degrees in time zone. That's equal to 168 divided by 15 equals 11.2. We take it to the nearest whole number, so we round. This case, we'll round down. So this is 11 hours. Now, is this added or subtracted? Now, this is in the east, so what do we do? It's in the east. What, what are we looking at here? If this is the prime meridian, to Greenwich, and these are time zones, to the east, we add to the east. And when we go to the west, we subtract to the west. So we're over here. We are adding 11 hours. So if we add 11 hours to this side, we get 1, 8 hours, 16 minutes, 15 seconds. Or if we add 11 hours over here, we get 0, 1, we get 20 hours, 16 minutes, 15 seconds. 7 plus 11 is 18. And 9 plus 11 is 20. Ah. Here, we caught this. This is 7 plus 12 is 19. There we go. So 7, 16, 15 plus 12 is 19, 16, 15. We add 11 to 7, it's 18. We add 19 and 11, it is 0, 1, 30. 16, 15. Um, so what we need to do, this 30, that's not right. So we subtract 24 and we get 0, 6, 16, 15. Right? So hours, minutes, seconds. Now we need to figure out this would be a sunrise and this would be a sunset. What were we looking at when we took the bearing? Sun bearing 283 PSC, which equals the west, which would equal setting sun, which equal PM. So which one of these? Our local mean time is in the PM over here, right? This would be 6 AM, but this is the PM. This is like 5 PM. So these local mean times tell us if it's setting or rising, and that works us back to our GMT. So our GMT is going to be this one. So 7, 16, 15. We say GMT is equal to 7 hours, 16 minutes, 15 seconds. And this did not change days. Even though we were adding 11 hours, we still came out the same day. So GMT 7, 16, 15, and that is May 11th. May 11th. Okay, now we can jump into the nautical almanac and find our declination and our D value. Let's do that. So we're May 11th. Seven hours. May 13. There we are. May 11th. May 10, 11, 12, May 10, 11. <clears throat> and we are seven hours. So 11, seven hours. Declination is north 17, 52.5. And getting bigger. So we're north 17, 52.5, getting bigger. 7, north 17, 52.5, bigger. North 17, 52.5, getting bigger. Degrees. 
minutes. So now we get the D value, which is down here. The D value is 0 0.6. And because declination was growing, we know we're adding it. So now we need to go to the corrections table and make the correction for that D value. It's back here. Increments and corrections. The increments were 16. This column. D value was 6. Here we are. 0 0.2. So we add 0 0.2 here. So our declination comes to north 17 degrees. 52.7 minutes and we need to put this into we need to find sign of declination in the next step which so it needs to be in degrees we divide this by 60 and our declination will be equal to north 17 point what degrees 52.7 divided by 60 equals 0.88 north 17.88 degrees this is the declination we're going to use in the next step and now we need our dr lat our dr lat is equal to 28 13.7 north 28 degrees 13.7 minutes north Again, we need to turn this into degrees, so we divide by 60, and our dr lat is going to equal 28 point something. 13.7 divided by 60 equals 0 0.23. 13.7 divided by 0 0.23. 0 0.23 degrees. So north. So this is our latitude we're going to use. Now we set these up. And we'll get, we use the formula. Sine amplitude is equal to the sine of declination divided by the cosine of latitude. So we'll plug these in. We'll say the sine of our declination, which is, 17.88 sine 17.88 divided by cosine of latitude 28.23 28.23 punch these in just say sine 17.88 equals 0.307 O two point three o seven o two, and that's divided by the co three o seven o two. Good cosine twenty eight point three twenty eight point two three twenty eight point two three equals point eight eight one o six point eight eight one o six. Good. And now we'll do that division and we'll get a number. 0 0.30702 divided by 88106. 0 0.88106 equals 0 0.34847. 0 0.34847. So this is sine amplitude equals this we need to get amplitude so we take the sine and we use the inverse sine over here so this is going to equal sine inverse of 0 0.34847 which would equal so this amplitude is going to equal this and it's going to come out in quadrantal notation so second sine inverse 0.34847 3487 equals 
4. 20.4. We need to name this thing. So up in front, we're going to name it East or West. And we saw the sun bearing 23, which means it was in the West. And North or South is determined by declination. Declination is North. So let's graph this out. Here's our graph, north, south, east, west. We need to figure out what the amplitude is from north. So we were west, and then we were north of west. We we're here, 20. So we're somewhere over here. So what we need to do, how far from north are we? We're 270 degrees plus this 20.4. So we are going to be equal to 270 degrees plus our 20.4 degrees. So our amplitude from north is going to equal this. 270 plus 20.4 equals 290.4 degrees. 290.4 degrees true. Now I'll put it in our correct the compass T V M D C true variation magnetic deviation compass. When we go down this way, we add west. And so our true is 290.4 degrees true. Variation was given 13 east. 13.0 degrees east. If we're going down, we subtract east. So 290.4 minus 13 east equals 277.4. 277.4. We're looking for deviation, but we were given compass right here. Sun bearing 283 PSC. 283 degrees PSC. So what's the difference between these two? So we got 277.4 minus 283 equals 5.6. 5.6. And we need to name this. Is this east or west? So from 77 to 83, we were adding. So it must be west. 5.6 degrees west should be the answer. Let's look. There we are. B. 5.6 degrees west is the correct answer to practice problem 3.